What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Today um, I thought we'd look at these uh, top links, uh, you know, for the three-point system on the back of the tractor and talk a little bit about the hydraulic versus the manual link, maybe the advantages, disadvantages. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have both on some different tractors here. So we'll take a look at uh, both setups and see, you know, um, what works better. Uh, I know a lot of people that uh, have the utility style tractors uh, similar to the Coyote here. Uh, that hydraulic top link is a very popular item and a very convenient and um, you know works well with uh, box blades and, and uh, land planes and things that you need to, to you know tilt that uh, tilt the action of the uh, piece of equipment without having to get off the tractor and manually adjust it. Uh, of course they are you know more expensive um, I, I'm thinking the hydraulic ones, I have seen them as low as like 150, 60 bucks, um, um, up to, you know, I don't know, three or 400, depending on what you get. Um, we'll look at it a little closer. I think you, you probably do want to get one that's got a check valve on it to keep, um, you know, from uh, leak down uh, when, it, when it's sitting idle. But uh, we'll take a look at them. Um, you know, the manual ones, you can probably get those at Tractor Supply, Agri Supply. For I don't know, I haven't even checked. I'm guessing 50, 60 bucks, so quite a bit less cost. But then again, you pay for the convenience of the hydraulic one. But let's look at them and talk about what you know. This this, this video this video is more so for the person that uh, you know bought a tractor, which I'm pretty sure that all of them are going to come with a generic uh, manual link. That's probably. Uh, going to be about as cheap as one as they could put on there um, but um, you know a lot, a lot of people were trying to decide you know should they spend that 150 to up to two or three hundred bucks to to get the uh, hydraulic one is it worth the money depending on what their use is but we'll talk about that a little bit I may have to hear him get this video done guys is here a little rumbling of thunder in the background anyway here I'm um, laying on the back I the coyote i got a couple of manual ones so this one here on the right is the one that came with the coyote and there again uh it, it works i used it a little bit you can tell it's, it's not been hurt at all i didn't use it a lot um you know it has a locking nut to keep in place once you uh you know get it adjusted where you want it but the thing that that to me is just absolutely crazy about this thing is there's no um you know no handle or nothing you know you got to spin this thing you get off the tractor and you got to turn it you know left or right to make it longer or shorter and it's already lots of times you know a little bit in of a bind you got to adjust the lift to get it you know get it the tension off of it and then you know over time of course grease you know or, or where you have, have uh, greased or all these things that dirt has accumulated so it's not going to be the easiest thing to turn and there's nothing on here so it's almost like you got to have a wrench and that's i guess that's what they got you know this this nut welded on the end here for um you got to have a wrench to turn that thing you know back in the day you got one right here that i used back in the farm on a massey 135 we had to me that's best case scenario for for a manual one now i think my dad might have welded these on here so i don't i'm not i don't think it came like that i'm not 100 percent sure on that i i just don't i don't know for sure but it, they kind of look like they've been welded on there but that you know gave you something to get a little leverage to be able to turn the thing and then this one had a little clip that folded down that you know went like that to lock it in place now i would love to be using this one uh you know of course i have the hydraulic one on the coyote i would love to be using this one over on the massey because of these handles but unfortunately this one sat outside or got wet or something over the years got seized up and i did get managed to get it broke loose but some of the threads inside are stripped so uh, yeah it's it's a loss but now uh, what i may end up doing is cut these handles off or these rods off and either put them on this one or now this one here this is the one that came with this massey 231 it's a little bit nicer uh, than the one from the coyote it does have something here that you can grab hold of and then you got a locking nut with a little handle on it there that you know maybe you don't have to have a wrench in the case of this one but it would be nice if it had those little bit longer handles on here I might might be infringing on the toolbox there i don't know but that manual one there is is a little nicer than the one that came on the coyote 
and then of course over here the hydraulic top link this one does have the check valve as i mentioned i want to say this is not one of the more expensive one i want to say i don't know if it was like maybe 250 to 260 i paid for this i'm pretty certain it's a chinese version um i got it off of uh Amazon, but it did come with the hoses, which you know it's nice that the fittings and the hoses are already uh, made up for it. Uh, but in, in my mind, it's trying to decide whether you want something like this and spending that 200 and some odd dollars or whatever is is what you're using it for. Now, for box blade, as you see that I've got on here now, oh man, it, it couldn't be any easier. You just you know from the driver's seat, you hit the lever, you tilt it forward, tilt it back. Same thing with the land plane over here. Um, if you know, you know, you're doing land plane work. It, it is wonderful. Maybe even with the landscape rake here too, you can tilt it back, tilt it forward. Um, you know, some of the, some of the other implements, you know, as well. Um, now, something more like a a rotary cutter or a disc hair. Um, once you get that adjusted, you're probably not going to move that top link a whole lot. Uh, you know, once you get the angle that you want. I can't remember. You know, this rotary cutter stays on this tractor most of the time. Uh, where it's set right now, I don't remember ever adjusting it from that position. It's just not something that you need to, you know, tilt back and forth with the rotary cutter a whole lot. Uh, same thing when I put the disc on here. I might adjust it a little bit to get a little more tilt towards the front or towards the back. But once it's adjusted, you know, I don't, I don't move it. Um, so that that's the one thing I would say in a deciding factor. What are you using your tractor for? What implements do you have on the back of it? To, don't get me wrong. Now the hydraulic ones are nice, and uh, it's, but there again, there's a little more things on the hydraulic one that can can break. You know, the cylinder O-rings, uh, leaky hose. So you know, with all good things come some disadvantages there. But um, you know, the manual one, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot on that that can really break if you take care of it and keep it greased and you know, squirt a little maybe that dry WD-40 on the threads there, which I need to do on this one. But now the one thing, and this just depends on the tractor. You can see on this tractor, the seat, I've got a little toolbox there and you got the gas tank. Uh, even if you had the manual uh, one on here, the original one, uh, you know, you, you definitely have to get off of the tractor to make the adjustment. I'll show you on the Massey here one thing that it does have a little bit of an advantage. So with the Massey here, very seldom, just because of the way the seat is here and there's no nothing here to obstruct, do I ever have to get off to adjust this? So you can see I can easily turn this, uh, you know, in or out. And there again, you might have to feather your um, three point up or down to, to get any pressure that might be on at the time. Um, so that is one advantage on um, this particular track. Now, now, like I said, on the other tractor, uh, you know, with a manual one, I would have to get off. There's just too much stuff in the way, uh, you know, to reach over like that. But, uh, but anyway, just, uh, you know, thought this was a quick little video to talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Uh, like I said, uh, now, ha having said that, you know, maybe there are advantages or disadvantages, I wouldn't take anything with this hydraulic one on the Coyote. For, for what I use it for, box blade stays on here most of the time. Um, yeah, it, and then the fact that, you know, you can't reach over and, and adjust this from the seat. You'd have to get off and come around. Um, you know, the hydraulic top link on this one, I, I definitely like. Um, you know, it would be nice on this one. Of course, you know, you got to have your rear remotes, and this tractor does not have rear remotes. So it's kind of, I wouldn't want to go through the extra expense of, you know, adding the rear remotes and then, you know, just to get a hydraulic top link, you know, you're probably talking, I don't know, five, six hundred dollars or more by the time you did all that, uh, you know, to go that route. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up. I better, better start getting my stuff uh, under the shelter and get out of here because it looks like the rain might be coming. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope that helps somebody out. If you're trying to decide on, you know, whether you should get a top uh, hydraulic top link, please hit that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.